eventually Moses grew. He lived in that, in the Pharaoh's house and things, but he grew up and he found out who he really was. And he was actually what was known as an Israelite. He was a child of Israel. So not his father was Israel, but the people were called Israelites at that time. So he grew up and God called him to lead the people who were slaves in Egypt. His, the Israelites were slaves for the pharaohs in Israel. And God chose Moses to get the people out. Okay. Then Moses took the people from Egypt, but there was this big water. So they couldn't cross it. They were running, fleeing from Egypt, but there was water. Do you remember what happened when when there was water and, and Moses was an adult and there was all these people and then there were soldiers following them? Do you know what happened? Yes, Landon, you are correct. God, Moses held up his staff and the water separated. It was the Red Sea and all of the people were able to cross on dry land. We sing that song about how did Moses cross the Red Sea? How did Moses cross the Red Sea? They just walked right across because the waters parted. God had, what do you think that was? Well, how far do you think the water parted? Probably 40 feet. Yeah. No, more. Probably about 40 feet or so. So how did that happen? What would we call that? Is that something you and I could do? No. No, what would we call that? Power. Um, miracle. miracle. So it was a miracle that God performed. Took the water out of their way. The people got across. And then just as the soldiers were coming through, what happened? It the water came back and the soldiers were drowned. So that's kind of the background story of Moses. God chose him to do amazing things. So in our story, we're at the point in Moses' life when he was very old. And God sent him up the mountain for a very special thing. So 